Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today it is Player's Choice Godfest, which means we're going to be doing lots and lots of rolls because Gung Ho has blessed us with a 45% chance rate to get any Godfest exclusive, which is incredibly high. And even if you get a duplicate of a Godfest exclusive, it is perfectly fine because you can convert those into trade fodder, and trade fodder can be utilized to acquire those key seasonal and/or collab cards that you want to slot into your given teams. So, with that in mind, I'm going to be rolling on Fantastic first, and what Fantastic wants to roll the absolute most is Seawolf and Royal Oak. Reason for that is I don't have those leaders and it will let me self pair more easily. I do have Natsuo Royal Oak. I do use double Nautilus, but I would like to have options with Seawolf. And then Mantastic is missing Daytona, so hopefully they get Daytona. For the other possible cards that Fantastic can roll, like it's really just I want the two Royal Oak and Seawolf and just much trade fodder, Godfest exclusive as possible. Like I never can get enough of them. And Fantastic is basically, like, I think it pretty sure is, like, non iap So it's going to be a great way for me to replenish my trade fodder reservoirs. All right, so with that being said, let the good times roll. All right, I want 7-star Godfest exclusive. I want transforming things. Everything is going to be a diamond. Alitu. This could have been literally anything else because this is, like, one of the voted cards. I don't think I have any interest in any Pantheon monsters, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately. No interest in Pantheon cards. But remember, 55% chance to be happy. And 55% chance are good numbers. What the fish, Fantastic? Get on Mantastic! Oh my. I want this on Mantastic! No! Wrong account! It's my second Daytona. Maybe Daytona will get an incredibly good weapon assist. So I've got the 2%. I've got the number one voted Pantheon and the number one voted 7-star Godfest exclusive. So, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I can be like that absolute like luxury individual where like I have two Daytonas and I can be like, I'm going to swap my latents around as I please. I totally could do that. So I could have one Daytona with leader swap and one Daytona with not leader swap so i'm actually useful to my friends all right i hope i do that on mantastic ladies and gentlemen still godfest exclusives or godfest exclusives it's my second one and i i'm gonna just presume that <gasps> oh fantastic are you my new main account what the fish so yeah hot diggity damn new godfest exclusive maybe i need to pick up a christmas illumina now Maybe I need to pick up Christmas Illumin on this account. This is a good time to get trade fodder for that purpose. Exactly. Exactly. So, a great, powerful, and exciting 7-star Godfest exclusive who likes light VDPs. Hence why Christmas Illumina is an appealing card for this account. I need to make sure I trade before the first, or on the first, or by the first. Alrighty, come on, big money. I'm just going to do it again. Fantastic! Why are you so good at this game? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This is interesting. Like, I like the chat. Like, Onion says he's now leaving and saying goodbye because of this role. Hot diggity damn, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty magical overall. My mom should definitely be pulling as well. This is great. You know what? I strongly believe like these new and strong Godfest exclusives are going to get great weapon assist. So, you know, having two, it's not the worst thing either. And then even if they get no weapon assist, it's still the best kind of trade fodder. So good times all around. Hot diggity damn, it's moving. Morgan's like, was she top three for six stars? This is great times overall. If only it was three in a row, but I got Moragu. Hey, I like how everything comes out at level 100. It saves me a single super snow globe. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, pretty good stuff overall. Deuxer got a no teammate, but they got some better stuff earlier on if I scroll up higher. Alrighty, come on, fantastic. You're doing so good. I feel like six-star Gothis exclusive at least will become trade fodder for that Christmas Illumina. More trade fodder! How many matches do... Oh, I have a few matches... I can spare one. I don't know what Christmas Illumina's trade fodder is, but more is more, ladies and gentlemen. This is going so good. 45% chance to be happy. Okay, the streak is sadly broken. That is sadly unfortunate. But that's okay. I'm doing great overall. I like how this is shaping up for this part. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's only the top three that comes out like that? Oh, that's Anubis. Ah, gosh darn. You're right, it was only the top three that seems to be 
extra zesty. That's all right. Om says they saw Sappy in the thumbnail, so you joined clearly at the right time. Oh, Tethys, you're kind of, you're quite pretty, but I, like, I already, do I, wait, no, I don't think I have it. I don't have one on this account. This is cool. This gives me options. Like, I have more options for Daytona, because Daytona clearly loves me overall. Mars Daz, I did not see the end of the year pack, unfortunately, but that's okay. Alrighty, come on, big money, big money. Dukes are got a Gilgamesh, not so great overall. Alrighty. Hey, it's moving. I already level up my AMA, so it's like unfortunately late timing, I guess. But it's okay. I'm getting the number one voted cards. Are she is she number one voted? She must be in the top three because she's got level 100. Okay, alrighty. Fantastic is doing so good already, ladies and gentlemen. But we can do better. We can definitely do better. That's not what I'm looking forward to. That's just unfortunate. And a truly weird outfit. Like, I feel like her chest proportions are not proportional. It just looks unusual, I feel. Dukes are got a Sukuya, but the fourth Fujin... Fourth Fujin's a little more exciting. 45% chance to be happy. Oak and Seawolf is what I really want! That's not it. Oak or Seawolf, so I have better pairing options. My streak has actually been destroyed for a bit now at Haku, unfortunately. But you know what? It could be better. No, that's Uranus. No, that's not the th inappropriate word. That's actually his name. Or a planet. So, speaking of planets and solar systems, how does, like, a solar system, you know, organize a party? They plan it. Either way, great puns aside, we're going to get a Godfest exclusive in this role right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the gung-ho gods were not pleased with the pun. That is truly unfortunate. It wasn't a brilliant roll there, sadly. Come on. It's true. Oms, when he arrived, the streak was lost. I don't think it's the case, but... Hey, it's back! Got a Celica, ladies and gentlemen. Got a Celica. This is great stuff. I already have at least one, I know that. Now I have two. So now I have potential options and or trade fodder. Although, I feel like Celica has definitely been pushed aside for my Christmas Osiris quite a bit now. What are you? Oh. Lou. Were you ever going to be good eventually, Lou? No, not really. That's okay. It's a 12 turn cooldown, but it's only one turn of absorption counter. No, very sad. I would love to get Oak or Seawolf for this account. One of those two, please. One of those two would be great stuff all around. Hot! Oh, I saw movement and I got excited. Well, on the bright side, now I don't have to evolve my Lucifer. I just saved myself, you know, all those materials. That's actually quite a bit of evolution materials saved, so that's actually pretty good. But then again, it's a Pantheon, so not so good. But I guess the collateral benefits could be worse. What are you? Oh, you're in a Hime. Unfortunate, your Halloween version is so much better. Okay, I started out so strong, and now I'm just like... Flopping along on the floor, unfortunately. Just flop, flop, flop. Hey, Godfest exclusive. I will take a Godfest exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. It's never bad to have more trade fire. Like I said, this is probably going to become Christmas Ilmina eventually. But what I'm thinking about, do I even have any other possible good choices for that team? I'll have to dig through my monster box for good light cards. I do have Fair Rule, I think. <laughs> Big money! That is one of the things I actually want, ladies and gentlemen. That is definitely one of the things I'm hunting for. I will howl with delight at getting Seawolf. So, great roll for Fantastic. Now it's just getting Royal Oak and Trade Fodder. And then I feel like I'd be pretty happy overall. Pretty happy overall, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic just rolled Seawolf and Daytona in this player's choice. If they can get an Oak, oh, I'll have all the options possible now for Fantastic. This is great. Okay, welcome back to the stream. I have not seen you for at least, what, 10, 15 rolls? I'm glad you managed to come back once again. Did you get lost, or are there three of you? Alrighty. Wanspell says, I think I roll better when I'm just talking to myself. So what you're saying is my rambling monologues tend to be good overall. Yo, Yoshi. Oh, like, I tend to save stones because... I like to save stones for high value events, and this is a high value event. Like, Fantastic 
to a certain extent, didn't do too much in 2020. Like, I did have, well, 2021, I had quite a few wrist problems. I didn't play as much pad, but fantastic. Just saving stones up over the course of a long period of time. Like, non-IAP is able to roll all the top leaders basically now. I have Natsuro, so I could do Natsuro Oak. I have Seawolf. I have Daytona. I have Nautilus. I can do so much stuff with this account. It is pretty exciting. Onion, yeah, it'll be a while before a weapon, but the thing is, I don't think, like, I don't think Gunho's gonna, like, give bad weapon assist to their seven-star Godfest exclusives. Like, they're just such desirable cards to begin with. What are you? Okay, you weren't moving. I thought you would have been cooler, possibly. One of the... Oak. No, you're not Oak. If I, I... I have enough of you. Go away. Alrighty, we'll keep going, Fantastic. I believe in the tr beautiful six- and seven-star Godfest exclusives. Oh, Denbola, go away. You don't even have a super reincarnated form. Why are you here? Jake, congratulations. Hope I, you're right type. Oh, you're moving. Oh, you're a disappointment. That's okay. That is okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is not even his coolest form. I like the other form more. Alrighty. Tay, I did because, like, it's the best way for me to get stuff back. I, I'm not going to roll in generic godfests. Cotton! More good stuff. I don't think I need any more cotton, so it's just trade fodder. But, Tay, the reason is because I'm not going to roll in regular Godfest. There's so much worse. 45% versus maybe 36%. Numbers. It's better to do it here. Better to do it here. That's the main reason why. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Last roll. Magical stuff! That is a Godfest exclusive. That is a good thing to end on for sure. Never going to be sad with more Godfest exclusives, ladies and gentlemen. And I do have the ability to make this weapon. Maybe I'll make it one day. Who knows? So, let's take a look at Fantastic's Hall. I'm out of stones for, like, the first time in forever. But that's what patience looks like. You've got Alitu to start, and then we start rolling from there. So, I had, like, the greatest start. I went five out of six. Absolutely amazing. Like, I'm happy overall. Like... I am happy with this outcome, like, I obviously am, like, didn't get Royal Oak, and that's obviously a bit sad, but Natsuo Royal Oak still works. I have Seawolves, and if Mantastic can roll Daytona, I'm gonna have so much fun playing with myself and utilizing those light TPAs. Alrighty, so, with that in mind, let's transition over to Mantastic's side. So, a similar amount of Magic Stones or so, so hopefully this actually pans out for me. Come on, let's connect my screen and do some big rolls. Here we go, here we go. Alrighty. Mantastic is one stone short from 30 tries, but that's okay. I want Daytona. Daytona is the best thing for me to get. Absolutely the best thing. Hey, nay. Never gonna say nay to more nays. Never gonna say nay to more nays. I... What weapon don't I have? I have all the weapons. Okay, maybe I have too many nays. Okay, I may have too many nays. But that's okay. It's trade fodder now. I know, I mean... Okay, I got Daytona on my second roll. Is it gonna happen here? Pretty amazing if it does. That was close. That's a seven-star Godfest exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. I will take another Ina. You will probably become trade fodder in the future. That is good for me overall. Alrighty, come on, Daytona. I want a vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, that's a Rochi. That's unfortunate. You know, to a certain extent, I like to think that the bigger your artwork, the more powerful and valuable you are. And a Rochi's artwork is actually one of the bigger ones, I feel, in terms of, like, how much space it takes up. So, like, a part of me just saw, like, lots of thing, and I thought, this must be good. Vroom, vroom. I would like more Manoas. You know what? I only have one Manoa, and it's a pain to swap evolutions for different colors. So getting this is actually quite helpful. Like, I don't, I like this. I will definitely make it into a different color. Like right now, they're currently sitting as a blue. Maybe I'll make it green or dark, depending on what I actually need to play. Like whatever I'm playing with myself. Point is, it's good to have more Manoas. And I only had one to begin with, so this is good. Alrighty, come on. Daytona, 2% chance. It's a pretty high chance, as high as it's gonna get. Oh, Susano, I do like you, but that's unfortunate. Oh, wow, Hidden Sofa! Wow, Hidden Sofa! Thank you so much, Hidden Sofa, for the delightful donation of 
No one is sure they wrote a final 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, but 47. Beautiful! Thank you, Dollar Zone, for the 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 Dollar Zone, and I agree, Onion. More Manoa, more is more. Manoa's weapons are great. It's a pain to swap colors. Like, Cecilia is okay to swap colors. It's not too bad. The evolution materials are pretty cheap. Manoa's are a big pain. Big pain. Daytona. Oh, oh. I saw movement. I get excited sometimes. Is a Sherry's Roots. Godfest exclusive. Trade fodder in the future. Still good times all around. I love your emotes, Haku. Come on, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, it's another Manoa! Good times all around! I can make more weapons with less fear now. Because like, like I said, let's look at the evolution materials. It needs... Actually, it's not as... Oh, it's kind of annoying. Like, you need one pretty big gem of something that might be annoying to acquire. It's kind of annoying to swap. It's much more annoying. I don't have Machine Athena's lying around. Definitely much more annoying if I want to make those evolutions. So yeah, good times still. Bombs is crying right now, says Shadow Infinity. Alrighty. Well, I would love to get a car. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Come on. Big money, ladies and gentlemen. Seven star. Okay, Odin. Six star Godfest exclusive. Never unhappy about more of these. More is more. Alrighty. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I thought you were cooler than, than you were, Freya. That's truly unfortunate. Defang says Oms is malding and it's great. So Defang, you take pleasure in Oms is suffering is what you're saying. Alrighty, come on. Big money, big money. Oh, Gilgamesh, go away. I've already got you again already this time. I have enough of you. Come on. Dukester, I hope your main account does well. Daytona! Oh! Don't want the little sister. I want the car. I want the car. Come on. Big money. Big money. Daytona! Oh! Cecilia! This is still good stuff! I had one, now I have two. I can swap. It's still easy to swap, but I can just have two now. Good times all around, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, da da dun, 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 da da dun, dun. That was in the top three. I want to get the other top three. Daytona car! What the fish, A10? You're so small. Cool, A10. You know, back in the day, I used to give A10 a 10 out of 10 because it was just so good at what it did before. But now we've come so far that A10 is like... He dreams of the day he used to be a 10. But yeah, he is definitely the murder orb wand spell. Dun, da, da, dun. Dun, dun, da, da, dun. I fart to you. Welcome to the stream. <gasps> Daytona! I am calm, cool, and collected, ladies and gentlemen. I am zen. I am so happy. <laughs> Cargo vroom! Cargo burr! This is a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Such a good day. Oh, thank you, Toy Knight, for being a fantastic follower. I have four Halloween cottons. I am my time to shine has come. You know what? I can self-pair with my Daytonas, and I can go burr and vroom through all like the dungeons. I have so many Halloween cottons. I can do so many cool things. Car definitely goes vroom vroom. I fart. Vroom, vroom indeed. So yeah, sleeping, leveling my Halloween cotton preemptively in TA3 is definitely paying off. I have a few more Halloween cottons to level up though. Type, you know what? I still got it. I don't mind whatsoever. So I'm at this crossroads. It's like I technically got rolled everything I wanted to roll, which is Daytona. And I even got extra Manoas and another Cecilia. Like, I guess I would like a second Albrich because I have one in blue, maybe a different color would be cool. So like contemplation but then again i look at the rolling rates 
and I see 45% chance for Godfest exclusive. And it's pretty good for rolling in. So I feel like I want to roll a little bit more because it's still trade fodder. Like, my logic is I don't think rolling for Blackbird is going to be necessarily the best idea. Mostly because with Blackbird, it's like his debut Godfest would be terrible at rates. It could be like maybe even like almost 10% worse rates. It could be like 35, maybe 36% versus 45%. So like to a certain extent, I feel like I want to roll a bit more. I'll keep some stones banked, but I do like 45%. So maybe I'll dip down to 99 and I'll see where that leaves me. Still good overall. Because like I like rolling at high chances. I like rolling when there's a better chance because... The odds are in your favor, and I can make those good trades in the future. Wanspell save and hopes of tennis. I'll go to 99. Oh, Gilgamesh, maybe not. Okay. It's okay. I have a few more rolls, and then I will stop. I want to do a bit more. Big boat! See? More Godfest exclusives. And that's more trade fodder. I do have too many Nautiluses now. Well, that's okay. I'm just swimming in submarines. But you know what? That's okay. That's still trade fodder. Like, 45% chance for trade fodder is meaningful, I feel. See? More trade fodder! So, of my 40 stones, I got two 7-star Godfest exclusives. That is good times all around. And congrats, Dukes, on your first Cecilia. That's a big deal. Well done. Well done. Alrighty. And exactly, Wansville. Getting your third knot is not a problem. I love Godfest exclusives. All right, last one. Come on. Hey, Godfest. So I rolled five more times, and I got three Godfest exclusives out of five rolls. I'm beating the odds. It feels good inside, but I have Daytona, and that feels amazing inside. So let's take a look. I get to stop here. I did 20 rolls or so. Did I do 20 rolls? Uh, or CHR? Was it 20 rolls? Look at the nay. You know, I rolled this Isis out of the video egg machine. I get some Pantheons once in a while. So I have the nay at the top, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 Godfest exclusives, ladies and gentlemen. I did 12 rolls, 18 rolls, 20. I am 12 for 20. Absolutely amazing. And I got the true chase card I wanted in Daytona. So as a whole, absolutely magical and amazing times all around to be had. I need to level up my Halloween cottons and have Daytona just go burn. So, with that being said, let me know what you, ladies and gentlemen, managed to roll in the comments down below. Were you as a magical as I was? Because I feel like I did pretty great and I got to save some stones afterwards. With that being said, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there in the audience have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the very best of luck in your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.